Hi friends, my name is Jess. I am a self-employed fit health practitioner and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my staples, my essential foot care products. So the first thing that I do when I go and see a client is to prepare the skin or the area that I'm working on. So if it's the nails or there's a, a big area of callus or whichever part of the foot I am dealing with, I would generally spray it with some antimicrobial uh, spray. So this is what I'm currently using. So what you'll find is that a majority of podiatrists and foot health practitioners use this, but it's just a skin prep. Some people don't prep the skin at all, but it's just a practice which I want to continue doing where whenever I deal with somebody's feet, I prepare it first. So my first staple is a skin prep. Yours can be whichever one it is, but currently it is the Clinic Set. Okay, so I've dealt with prepping the skin. The next thing that I'm gonna do is reach for a callus softener. Now, depending on the presentation, if they have callus, then I would use this next. I usually use it in this container. So this is the foam dispenser of this. I, you know, decant it and then you take this along with you to your appointments. I usually put two pumps in my hand and then I rub it in the areas where there's a buildup of callus. So it's usually around the plantar metatarsal area and around the heels as well. So definitely a staple of mine. It actually has 25% urea as well, which is very good. It is diabetic friendly. So definitely a staple and something that I am always going to be using for a very, very long time. Right, so I've put the callus softener on and I leave that in place while I deal with the toenails. So a lot of the time my clients have impacted uh, side walls, toenails, there's a lot of build up um, or they've got really hard nails. If I'm dealing with an ingrown toenail as well, I like to soften up the nail and around that area. So I use the Left Wonder uh, Skin and Nail Softener. It comes in two different sizes, and I usually decant it into the smaller one because it fits in my bag. I don't want my bag to be too bulky. So I use the smaller one, and what I do is I impregnate a little bit of cotton wool, which I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, because what that does, it just makes sure that the liquid stays in the area that I want it to stay in. It doesn't run off the skin, which a lot of the time, before I use the cotton wool, it would do that, it would waste product and it will go into areas where I didn't actually want this liquid to go onto. So this is really, really good at removing any impacted toenails, especially down the side walls. A lot of the time it's dirt, it's traps, socks, it's so many different things. So I have been using this since the day I qualified as a foot health practitioner back in 2019. This is 100% a staple. I will probably always use this until they discontinue it. And I don't see it going away anytime soon. So definitely a staple. Now, I just want to quickly mention about the gay wall because that is also a softener as well. You can actually use that for impacted nails too. You can apply some of it to the, around the nails if you want to. The gay wall softener, I generally would stick to the callus for me, but you can use it around the toes as well. So my next product, which is a staple of mine, is the Lepidro Cream. I love this to death. <laughs> this has 10% urea in it. It's a really good moisturizing cream that I rave on about all the time. My clients love it, I love it, and it's definitely gonna be staying with me for a very long time. This is what I would use after I've dealt with the whole feet. So I've cut the nails, I've got rid of any calluses, I've done whatever needs to be dealt with with the feet and I'm finishing off my treatment. So this actually comes in three different sizes. This is the 500 mil. You can also get it in 75 mil and 125 mil. Those smaller sizes, you would generally retail to your clients, whereas this is really cost effective when you're using it in your, in your treatment, in your clinic. So I guess you could sell these to your clients as well. I guess if they want a big one, you could do. But I generally sell the smaller size ones and this one right here is for me. My next staple is a oil. So I like to put an oil on the toenails when I finish a treatment. I feel this is a nice end of treatment to make those nails nice and fresh looking and polished. So I use the Gaywal 
protective nail and skin oil it also comes in spray form i mean these are a little bit different in terms of their ingredients this is an oil as well so it's a spray but i generally go for this one when i treat my clients um in their foot care appointment i use a couple of drops you know per foot it's also really good at conditioning the nails and making them healthy so i love a good nail oil so this has antifungal elements in it as well which is really good my next staple is something that i don't always use all the time but i wanted to mention it in this video because it's definitely a staple and is always in my bag and that is saline water so i used to have it in the ampules but i've recently started using it in a can so I use this if, for example, there is a wound, an ulcer that you may find or I may find. If I'm dealing with an ingrown toenail where it's pierced the skin and there is blood. <laughs> so I usually spray it with saline just to clean up the area. Um, so yeah, this is a staple of mine, 100%, always, always in my bag. Right, guys, these are my essential foot care products that I use in my foot care appointments. And yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys a lot. If you are coming out of training and you have loads and loads of questions, then please do either contact me or head over to my website. I do have some resources over there for you. I have templates. I have a startup business guide. Everything that you kind of have questions to, I've try to put as much in this guide as possible so do head over to my website if you need to right guys as usual it's always a pleasure and i will definitely see you guys in my next one yes of course i will right <laughs> see you later in the next one